Let's solve a hard physics problem. In this question from the 2018 Oxford physics admission test, we have a couple of masses that are connected on strings of length L and they're being deflected from the balance point by the gravitational force. What we need to prove is that the small deflection delta X is approximately equal to this expression. Anytime we have a similar situation and we see the approximate sign, what we can use is the small angle approximation. So even before I start the problem, just over here, I'm going to write that sine of theta is approximately equal to the tangent of theta, which is approximately equal to theta itself. Keep in mind that delta x is a small quantity. If I had delta x raised to the power of 3 or 4, this would be negligible. So starting from the basics, let's resolve the tension. The vertical component of the tension will be balancing out the weight. So we can write down that t cos theta will be equal to mg. The horizontal component will be the gravitational force that is causing this deflection. So we can say that T sine theta will be equal to the gravitational force is GMM over R squared. So that's going to be GMM over the distance squared. Now, if this here is delta X and if this here is delta X, then the distance between the centers will just be x take away twice delta x and then square. So let's rearrange the first equation for t. So t will be equal to mg over cos theta. Let's plug that into here. What we're going to get is that mg sine theta over cos theta is equal to gmm over x minus 2 delta x squared. We can cancel out the m's. Additionally, we can magically make this sine theta over cos theta turn into a tan theta. And now we can use the small angle approximation that sine theta is about equal to tan theta, which is about equal to theta, which uh, in this case will be approximately equal to delta x over L. So we get that G times delta X over L will be equal to the gravitational constant times GM over X minus 2 delta X, all of this squared. Let's take everything that has a delta X and let's bring it onto this side. So what we get is that delta X, X minus 2 delta X, squared will be equal to GML divided by the gravitational acceleration. So delta X will be equal to X squared take away 4X delta X and then plus this term squared which is going to be 4 delta X squared and uh, this will be equal to GML over G. Delta X multiplied by X squared minus 4X delta X squared plus 4 delta X to the power of 3 is equal to GML over G. This term right here will be negligible in our approximation. Imagine that you have a small value, say 0.01. If you were to cube it, you would get a very, very small value indeed. So we can cross it out. This is already starting to look like a quadratic equation. Let's put it into quadratic form. So what we're going to get is minus 4x delta x squared plus delta x x squared minus gml over g. Using the quadratic formula, our first root will just be equal to minus b, which is going to be just minus x squared, plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, so that's going to be uh, this multiply by this, which means that those two multiply will give us a positive answer, so the negative will remain. So b squared is going to be x to a power of 4. We're going to take away 4x 
multiply by 4, which is going to be just 16x, multiply by gml over g, so g, and then we're going to have an ml over g, divided by 2a, which in this case is just going to be negative 8x. So this in terms will equal to negative minus x squared over 8x will just give me a plus x over 8. And then take away the square root of x to the power of 4 minus 16x g m l over g divided by 8 x. Because the expression we're trying to prove is simplified even further, what I'm going to do is use a little trick by representing 8x as the square root of 64x squared. So this will be equal to x over 8, take away the square root, x to the power of 4 minus 16x gml over g, divided by uh, 64x squared, square rooted. Now I'm just going to square root this entire expression actually. So we can just write it like so, which will in turn be equal to x over 8 take away the square root of x to the power of 4 divided by 64x squared will just give me x squared over 64. And this is of course just equal to x over 8 brackets squared. And then we're going to take away 16x gml over g divided by 64 squared. So this will just be giving me 1 over 4x, and then we're going to have a factor of gml, and then we have, we're going to have a g on this side. And this is the very expression that we're trying to prove. Why does this solution actually work? Imagine that the mass is just 0, then if that's the case, so if m is equal to 0, we actually get x over 8, take away the root of x squared over uh, 8 squared square rooted, so that's minus x over 8, meaning that delta x will be 0 if the mass is 0. Well, that makes physical sense because it's the presence of mass that causes the deflection. This condition is not met with the second root if we were to just change this to a negative sign. Now another technique that always appears in the path in Physics Olympiads is dimensional analysis and you absolutely need to have a look at this video to ensure that you ace those exams and this video is just over here.